经过长期努力，中国特色社会主义进入了新时代。这是我国发展新的历史方位。The eyes of the world were on Beijing. His declaration was like a guiding light, indicating a new direction for China's development. It heralded an even brighter future for the Chinese nation. Five years earlier, the 18th Party Congress had opened a new era in the pursuit of socialism with Chinese characteristics. It was an era when dreams would be realized and when those who were willing to give their all would be rewarded. Under the guidance of the Communist Party, led by President Xi, China is striving to fight an honorable battle. In the course of this, it is carrying out grand projects, working for the welfare of all, and realizing magnificent dreams. China has awakened and is making the leap from gaining strength to achieving greatness. November the 29th, 2012, the sun was shining brightly on Chang'an Avenue and the lively crowd in Tiananmen Square. At 10 a.m., a convoy of buses slowly made its way into the compound of the National Museum of China. It was just a fortnight since the 18th CPC Congress had closed. Xi Jinping and the new Politburo Standing Committee were visiting the exhibition Road to Revival. I thought that to achieve the greatest of China's greatest achievements is to achieve the greatest of China's greatest achievements. Because this dream has united and united many Chinese people. 夙愿，它体现了中华民族和中国人民的整体利益。它是每一个中华儿女啊的一种共同的期盼。The Chinese dream is like a spark kindling the passion in the hearts of 1.4 billion people. It is a magnificent dream. Which the Chinese people are devoting tireless efforts to achieving.
in March 2013, on his first official overseas visit as the President of China, Xi Jinping made a speech at the Moscow State Institute of International Relations. In it, he shared the Chinese dream with the world. The Chinese dream was an inevitable outcome of historical development. The world was confronting greater changes than had been seen for centuries. China was confronting its own major changes, largely relating to the economy. In the face of the challenges, the CPC, under Xi Jinping's leadership, acted resolutely. Like the helmsman of a great ship that is carrying the dream of China's rejuvenation, it worked out a new course ahead. of years, the Chinese nation has made outstanding contributions to human civilization, becoming one of the greatest countries on earth. However, for over a century, it was the victim of invasion and internal conflict, and suffered terrible pain and turmoil. The great revival of the Chinese nation is the goal people have been fighting to achieve for centuries. From the Taiping Rebellion and Wushu Reform to the Xinhai Revolution, brave activists rose up time after time and devoted their lives to finding a way of saving the nation. Their hearts were full of passion, and their demise, before their cause was fulfilled, was a source of great sadness and regret. Ultimately, history chose the Communist Party of China. Under the leadership of the party, through 28 years of bloody fighting, the Chinese nation realized its independence and liberation. The road to revival is long. The 18th CPC Congress heralded a crucial period in the nation's revival. Xi Jinping, by providing a clear explanation of the concept of the Chinese dream, opened a new chapter in the Chinese people's ongoing struggle to realize their greatest aspirations. On September the 24th, 2015, an emergency meeting was held in Yangjiahe village, Xiangxi province. The county government had sent a CD to Liangjiahe village with a recording of Xi Jinping's speech. Thousands of miles of land and oceans lies between this little village and the United States. But at that moment, the people here felt like their hearts were one with their presidents. <laughs> From feeding the people of a small village to the great rejuvenation of the nation, Xi Jinping's socialism with Chinese characteristics for the modern era has mapped out a path for realizing the Chinese dream. His words are an inspiration for people as they work for China's great revival.
The past to the future lies through the development of the economy and politics, culture and society, and the environment. China is committed to simultaneously developing a prosperous society, comprehensively deepening reforms, and enforcing the rule of law throughout society. The country is unswerving in its determination to promote innovation, ecological improvement, openness, and sharing. All these efforts are based on the concept of people-centric development, designed so that everyone has a greater sense of achievement, happiness, and security. However, words alone would not realize the great dream of China's revival. At the Ningdong Energy and Chemical Industry Base in northwest China, the workers have been trying to make a dream come true. It's the dream of turning coal into oil. If they were successful, they'd end the long-standing monopoly of other countries in coal liquefaction technology. On the afternoon of July the 19th, 2016, as the coal liquefaction project was entering its most crucial phase, a special guest arrived on site. <笑>我这个心情啊也很激动啊展望这个中国的未来啊前途无限啊两个一百年在前面就是实现我们中华民族伟大复兴的中国梦社会主义是干出来的 After 39 months of dedicated effort by over 10,000 workers, the coal liquefaction project reached a successful conclusion. Coal that had been created in the course of millions of years, deep below the Earth's surface, was being turned into liquid energy. A dream had become reality. the Chinese dream, the country must follow its own path. Through one achievement after another, the Chinese people have shown the world that there's more than one path to success. The secret is to choose the path that's best suited to a country's own conditions. In April 2014, President Xi shared the story of China's success with the students at the College of Europe, the institution known as the cradle of Europe's political elite. He said that China has experimented with constitutional monarchy, imperial restoration, parliamentarism, multi-party system, and presidential government. Yet nothing really worked. Ultimately, China chose socialism. After the reform and opening up was launched under the leadership of Mr. Deng Xiaoping, we have, acting in line with China's national conditions and the trend of the times, explored and blazed a trail of development and established socialism with Chinese characteristics. The path of socialism with Chinese characteristics is one that China must take if it is to achieve its revival. This path is carved out of China's 5,000 years of tradition and history. It was chosen after careful consideration of the history of China's development and growth in the past 170 years. It was identified as the right course for new China after 70 years of exploring every possibility and 40 years of reform and opening up. The decision to embrace socialism with Chinese characteristics kindled the passion of over a billion people. They resolved to advance down that path step by step, realizing their dreams one by one. Today, the telescope with the widest aperture in the world, the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Telescope, or FAST, gazes towards the heavens and listens for voices from the farthest corners of the universe. 
the experimental advanced superconducting tokamak known as the artificial sun has conveyed China to the forefront of global magnetic fusion research. China's independently developed Beidou 3 satellite system has successfully launched eight GPS satellites into orbit. has proven that it is an appropriate, proper and sound choice for China. To realize the Chinese dream, people must proudly uphold the Chinese spirit. A dream can show us the way forward, give us the strength to carry on, and provide us with the wings to soar. In 2009, Huang Danyan returned home to China. A renowned physicist, he had been working abroad for 18 years. Yet he abandoned a joint research project he had been conducting with a team of leading foreign scientists, which promised him excellent financial remuneration. Instead, he agreed to help with China's deep sea and underground exploration. At the time, the world's leading extraction technology could reach a depth of 2,500 to 4,000 meters underground. However, China's best was just 500 meters. No sooner was he back in China than Huang threw himself into the project. He worked virtually non-stop. He completed in a single day tasks that took other people three days. His wall calendar was covered with entries. Not a single day went by that he didn't work overtime. The team he led spent five years completing research and development that had taken the developed countries over 20 years. They succeeded in bringing many of China's technologies up to the most advanced level in the world. Hard work had taken its toll on Huang Daonien's health. Just 30 days after being diagnosed with bile duct cancer, he passed away. He was only 58. No country or nation can rise without its people demonstrating their fighting spirit. The name Huang Daonien has been inscribed in the annals of China's history. He is remembered for his patriotism and for his spirit of innovation and his commitment to reform. He is admired as someone who upheld the finest values of his era. He was the embodiment of the spirit with which the nation has, time after time, risen from catastrophe. The spirit of facing challenges and adversity with a renewed resolve. Today, the spirit displayed by every Chinese person as they pursue their aspirations is creating sparks that light up the Chinese dream. To realize the Chinese dream, the Chinese people must come together. The oceans are filled from the smallest streams, and towers are built from countless grains of sand. Everyone in China is chasing a dream. Every business and every institution is formed of a group of dreamers. When these dreamers are able to release their full potential and strength, they create the opportunity for realizing their dreams. 22-year-old Zhou Bin was the youngest delegate to this year's National People's Congress. As a 16-year-old, he worked on a construction site, carrying sand and bricks. All the time, he guarded a dream in his heart of one day becoming a skilled bricklayer. To ensure that a wall was solid, he would sometimes tear down what he'd built several times. Whenever he sees a good example of construction work, he makes a point of asking the builders about it. In the two years he spent working for the fifth bureau of the China State Construction Engineering Corporation, Zhou rarely took any time off. In the 
2015 World Skills Competition, he defeated Master Craftsman from five continents. By winning the Medal of Excellence, he finally achieved his lifelong dream. There are many other stories like Zoe Beans that show how the hard work and fighting spirit of individuals can help the nation grow, prosper, and achieve its revival. The power that has made this possible originates from the determination and vitality flowing in the veins of ordinary Chinese people. Relentless determination and the will to fight on, this is the essence of the Chinese spirit. In 2014, CCTV launched its first Spring Festival travel rush chat rooms at the railway stations in Xi'an, Guangzhou, and Xiangyang. My this year's biggest dream is to go to the University of Tsinghua. And then, one year's biggest dream is to bring my students back. Some people came to express their feelings for loved ones, but mostly they talked about their dreams and aspirations for the future. The Chinese dream is the dream of a nation, a dream shared by everyone in the country. Across China, from the biggest city to the smallest village, people are holding on to this beautiful dream. I'm a farmer, a farmer. I want to live with a city. Like when I was born, I would say, every day, I would go to school, then I would go to school, then I would go to school. 爹妈身体好点然后家庭和睦，生活幸福。The hope for a better life and the desire to do great things are the most vibrant components of the Chinese dream. In the new era, the main contradiction in Chinese society is that between the popular need to create a better life. And the uneven distribution of wealth. People work so that they can eat and live better. They aspire to a higher income, better social security, cleaner air, a more prosperous family life, career advancement, and personal happiness. These aspirations, shared by all, are a driving force for society's advance. The great Chinese dream is composed of countless ordinary dreams such as these, all coming together. on the themes of chasing dreams, holding on to a dream, and dreams come true. On July the 31st, 2015, in Kuala Lumpur, at its 128th session, the IOC held a vote to decide the city that would host the 24th Winter Olympic Games in 2022. Beijing. Yeah! Beijing would be the first city in the world to host both the Summer and the Winter Olympics. And China would be the first country in the world to host not only the Summer and Winter Olympics, but also the Youth Olympics. China, a 
proud nation with 5,000 years of civilization is taking great strides towards modernization. The nation is now walking confidently down the path to national prosperity and common happiness. A growing China, full of vigorous growth. We are all trying to run away. We are all dreamers. After 70 years of constant struggle since the founding of New China, the country's people can finally see the bright future that awaits the rejuvenated Chinese nation. Through their hard work and committed struggle, they have achieved miracle after miracle and have made the impossible possible. Those Chinese people lucky enough to have been born in this era of prosperity bear witness to the historic achievements of the reform. Guided by the principles laid down by Xi Jinping for establishing socialism with Chinese characteristics, the country has implemented the five-pronged overall plan and gradually unfolded the four-pronged comprehensive strategy. New and remarkable happenings are occurring in every corner of China's vast land. I'm not afraid. 